Zoe Hardman has welcomed her second child with husband Paul Doran Jones. Their first son kit was delivered on Friday night, the 35 year old TV presenter announced in an Instagram video on Monday. Zoe wed rugby player Paul in July 2017 after two years together, and they welcomed their daughter Luna in September 2016. Zoe told fans, so, surprise. We had our baby. Kit Peter Doran Jones. He was born on Friday night, about midnight. We absolutely adore him. He is amazing. So happy and overwhelmed. The TV personality shared a first glimpse of the newborn in a video featuring a beautifying bunny ears filter. So much hair, she declared, sharing a second natural shot of the baby lying on her chest. Later, Zoe let fans know that she was recovering with a bath in a picture that showed just her bare legs while she soaked. Zoe and Paul announced their second pregnancy last December, just 15 months after welcoming daughter Luna. We are also thrilled about it and can't wait to meet the smallest member of the Doran Jones Hardman clan come spring, she said in an Instagram announcement. The two under two club here we come. Happy Christmas you wonderful bunch from me, Dawes, Isla Bear, Luna Bug and Bump. Zoe previously admitted fears that she would be unable to fall pregnant after her sister Catherine went through early menopause at the age of just 34. Emotional Zoe discussed her journey and undergoing IVF treatment, describing discovering she had a low egg count as a ticking time bomb during an appearance on This Morning in 2016. I have a very low AMH rate, she explained, which is anti malarian hormone, one of the markers for low ovarian reserves. So basically I don't have many eggs left. Describing her thoughts after learning of her chances of conceiving, Zoe said, it felt like a ticking time bomb to me. I said, what do I do? It felt like a ticking time bomb and I tried to go for an egg freeze. He Paul kept very calm. He said we'll deal with it together. IVF wasn't straightforward for Zoe, with the TV presenter explaining her struggle with the grueling process. She said, I had to spend 12 days injecting my stomach. I am the end, they didn't even harvest them. Despite Zoe's low ovarian count, she and her partner Paul learned that they were to become parents at the end of 2015. The summer after Luna's birth, Zoe and Paul tied the knot in a beautiful Spanish wedding ceremony in Ibiza.